In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this text warp effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects and you've got a brand new composition created, we first want to begin by just making some text. So we'll go up onto the top bar, select the T icon, that is the horizontal type tool, select that and select anywhere on your composition. And then you just want to type out a word of your choice. So I'm just going to type out Brooker, turn on the proportional grid, and then you just want to place this roughly in the middle. Of course, if you wanted to change your font, increase the size of your font, or whatever you want to do to your text, you go over into the character window. If you can't see the character window for any reason though, then we'll just go into window and select character. Make sure that is selected. And if it's selected, it will have a tick next to it. So just go to the character window, change the dynamics of your font, change the font size, the color, change everything you want to add to this, and then press OK and center that up. Then we'll turn the proportional grid off. So from here, you just want to go into effects and presets. So search for effects and presets, and we'll search for turbulent displace. And then we'll drop turbulent displace onto the text. And as you can see, instantly the text has turned wiggly although nothing is happening if I move the cursor from left to right. And that is because we need to animate the evolution. So we'll go to the very beginning, pull the cursor back to the beginning. We'll go to evolution, create a brand new keyframe on evolution. Then we'll scroll all the way to the end and we'll change the evolution. So we'll pull this around. Feel free to do this as many times as you like. Of course, the more you do this, the more it's going to wiggle. The less you do it, the less it's going to wiggle. So that looks really good. Of course, though, let's change the look of this. So in Turbulent Displace, we've got Displacement, we've got Turbulent, we've got Bulge. So let's have a look at that. That looks slightly different. Next up, we've got Twist. That again looks slightly different. Turbulent Smoother. Bulge Smoother, Twist Smoother, Vertical Displacement. So that's going up and down. This one's really good if you're trying to create a flag animation. We've got horizontal displacement. That looks really cool. That looks really good as like a retro VHS inspired text effect. That looks really cool. And then we've also got cross displacement and that's doing it across both directions. And that looks really cool. Of course, so let's just leave this at, let's go for twist. So we'll leave that there. Then we've got the amount. If we increase the amount, of course, the higher we pull this up, the more this is distorting. As you can see, it's barely even recognizable at this point, but that does make quite a cool background. If you increase the size of this, that could be quite a fun background of something, but I'm getting carried away. We'll pull this down. So we'll keep the amount of the sensible number at around 50, 40, somewhere around there. Then of course, we've got the size. So how big do you want the turbulent displacement to be? So how much do you want the text to move with it? So at the moment it is 644. It's moving around quite a lot. If we pull this down to 10, you can see that's barely affecting it. You can, you can just about see it on the edge. There you go. You can just see that affecting the edges. So we want somewhere in between, I'd say. So let's go for around somewhere around 100. And that looks really nice. So that's the basics of this text warp effect. Of course, though, if you wanted to create an effect where it looks like a reflection in the water, all you would have to do is create a duplicate of this. So we'll go Command C, Command V. We'll select the bottom layer and we'll pull this upside down. So we'll select this top box here. We'll pull this underneath like this. Go to the top layer. We'll delete turbulent displacement like this. So you can see the bottom layer. So you can see the bottom layer has got the turbulent displacement effect, but the top layer does not. Of course, if you wanted to elongate this reflection effect, you could just pull this down like this. And then of course, we're just going to add some feathering to the top of this so that it's slowly fading away the further it is away from the text. So we'll go to the rectangle tool. We'll draw a rectangle mask around the bottom of this text. Go into the mask at the bottom. If that hasn't loaded for any reason, just press M on the keyboard and that will load up mask. Go to mask feather, we'll increase the mask feathering to around, let's go 300% and then you want to select inverted. Of course, let's add a little bit of separation though. So we'll press P on the keyboard, select in that bottom layer, pull the position down just a little bit, 
press T on the keyboard to load opacity. We'll pull the opacity down just a little bit. And then of course we can change the color of this text as well if you wanted so you can make this a soft blue. So something like this. Of course though, if you wanted to do the VHS effect, so we'll delete that. We'll go into effects and presets, drop turbulent displacement on again, and the VHS effect was the horizontal displacement. Of course, at the moment we've got no evolution animation, so we'll go back to evolution, create a brand new keyframe on evolution, go to the end, we'll pull this around a few times, so if you were going for a VHS effect inspired text effect with this turbulent displacement plugin, then this is a really good place to start. So in order to take this further, we just need some chromatic aberration. So we'll copy this layer two times. So we'll go command C, V, V. We'll change the color of the top layer. So we're going to character, we'll change this to red. Change the second layer to blue. And then we'll change the bottom layer to green. So we've got red, blue, green. Then we'll go to the top two layers, select the toggle switches slash modes to load up the mode menu, select normal and select screen. So they've both been screened. So at the moment now we've got white text, but the second that we move the position of these individual layers apart, you can see we're getting this really cool VHS inspired chromatic aberration effect now happening. Now we've rendered this out, this looks really cool. And of course you can turbulent displace each individual layer separately. So we'll go onto the top layer, we'll change the amount to, let's go 32. And then we'll change the size down as well. We'll go to the second layer and change the complexity up a little bit and we'll pull the amount up. And then when we render this out, this should look really awesome. As you can see, that does look really cool. So all you would have to do from there is just go layer, new, solid. We'll create a brand new black solid for the background. Press OK. Select everything, right click, pre-compose, press OK. Go into effects and presets and search for noise. And you can drop any of these noise effects on, but I'm just going to drop the basic noise effects on. We'll increase the noise. And then we'll add a four by three aspect ratio. So we'll just crop this. We'll go to the rectangle tool. We'll crop this like this. Go to fit up to 200%. And now when we play this back, you've got this really awesome VHS inspired text effect using that turbulent displacement effect. And of course, in the turbulent displacement effect, you've got all of these other evolutions and complexities that are going to make this look completely different. So whether it be a basic water reflection effect, a VHS text effect, or whatever you want to do, the turbulent displacement effect plugin does have some really cool options and it can really help to add some animation and some character to your text. And there you go. Consider trying the turbulent displacement effect on your next project. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate your support and I hope you learned something today and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.